What's up guys, Shane here from Fugatech 3D Printing. Today we're just a little bit different. Today, I think I'm gonna try and learn how to do some Arduino programming. And as someone that knows very little about Arduino programming, I said yes, because this actually comes with like projects and there's a CD that comes with it, tells you what to do, and there's a whole bunch of things in here. So let's take a look at what everything is, and then I think I'm just gonna pick out something simple on their, their tutorials on do something and see how it works out for me. Now I will say I do know the basics of, you know, how to compile a sketch, what parts make up a sketch, how to get it onto the uh, Mega 2560. So I know that little bit of like administrative piece in the beginning, but when it comes to like writing my own code, absolutely nothing. I know nothing about it. I'm not a coder in school. I'm just straight up IT guy. And yeah, coding was something that we definitely did not do. That was the programmers. So again, so looking at this, this was the packaging that it came in. So this is a very interesting package because it said, if the seal on the bubble bag is damaged or peeled off, please reject and do not sign the package. There's another sticker here on the back. So they really want to make sure that you're getting like exactly what they ship to you and it comes just like this it wasn't anything else it was literally just like this and i was like okay well that wasn't a problem i sliced open the top and i did open it up just so i could see what was in it and now i know so now i want to show you guys what's in it all right so once we get this opened up here so here we have a pretty nice detailed outlining of what's in it and it's Every single piece that's inside this kit is listed here on this top page. Now I've seen this page a lot of times whenever you buy a uh, like a, a, a screw and like a nut index. I don't know the proper term, but they're indexes. We have them at work. And I mean, this is like full of screws and, and nuts and bolts of all different sizes. And this top piece tells you exactly what it is. And they're actually drawn to scale. Obviously this is not, but this is really cool. I mean, there's, there's like obviously the mega, there's LCD screens. RFID module, prototyping board, power supply. I mean, uh, there's a server motor, which is cool. A little stepper motor, uh, another motor driver board. I actually have some of these to do an uh, upcoming project. And this is kind of kind of helped me learn how to even do that. There's resistors, LEDs, RGB LEDs, thermistor probe. Uh, there's, I mean, there is just a ton of stuff in this. And again, it's the most complete kit they say. So, there's just a lot in there. And if we look here down to the bottom, you can even see all the components are in there nicely. So here's this little thing here, this little thank you thing. Uh, happy customer, if you have any problems, email them. Uh, this is the, uh, the disc that has everything in it. You also can download it. I went ahead and downloaded it on my laptop because only one of my laptops actually has a uh, drive in it and I'm not using it for that. So and I also done like the most updated uh, Library that they have of their projects. So that's what I got online I was right off their website and then yeah, so here is everything else To be had. I mean USB cable. These are the jumpers the stepper. This is the the project board and then under here is you know resistors LEDs uh, some chips some speakers uh, the thermistor probes in there, uh, I mean all kinds of stuff, I don't even know what every single one of those are just because I don't, don't do microelectronics like this. Uh, here's the board itself, you know, it's just a standard Arduino Mega 2560 board. So this is used in a lot of 3D printers because there's a ramp that just plugs right into the top of this and that it, it just it's kind of plug and play for the most part. But this is the big brain that's going to be behind everything and tons and tons of resistors. Oh, we have a little fan. Uh, there is a, well, this looks like a stepper, but it's something else, obviously. I don't know. RFID chip. Here's the project board. Here's a little, you know, push button deal, a little touch, a little pad. You know, that, that hooks into here somehow. Again, so this is one thing that the uh, solderless, the breadboard here is something that you really do need when you work on these projects because it tells you you have your positive and negative lanes and then they carry across so that you can start bridging everything and there's a power supply in here that uh, once I find it, let me get this back here together uh, so this power supply right here actually plugs right into see the positives on the outside 
it just kind of goes like this right into the bottom of this board. You plug your power into this, which it comes with a power supply right here. Little wall socket one. This is good for 110 to 240, 50, 60 hertz. Great, it's good all over the world. And this literally just plugs right into here. And that gives you power throughout your board. A little on-off switch here as well, it looks like. So yeah, I mean, it, again, it really does come with nearly everything that you might need to get your project started. So now I'm not gonna go into like detail, like every single thing is in here because all you have to do is go down in the video description, there's gonna be a link to Amazon where you can see what comes in this kit. And I can also say there are several kits that they have. This is like, again, this is the most complete one that they have. Uh, it has literally everything that they do, but they'd also have smaller kits for cheaper prices. I think this one was around 50 or 60. I'll overlay here what it actually is when I go and look at the Amazon page. But I mean, I mean, heck, it even comes with a nine volt battery that you're gonna need in order to power half of the things. And there's an adapter, oh, there's a little uh, little DC motor in there. Uh, but there's also a power adapter in here somewhere, uh, a light reader, um, there's a little joystick. I'd said you can do a joystick here. It's got the little button that sticks on it. This might be fun, kind of make like a game or whatnot, just kind of clicks and do all that. I mean, there's just, I don't know, I'm, I'm totally geeking out because this is actually a really, really cool thing that I again have wanted to learn for years, but uh, it's hard. I'm a dad, I work. Finding time for your own personal development, especially something as educational as this, is tough, it really is. So I'm gonna do my best to give this the old college try and see what happens. All right, so now we know pretty much what's in there for the most part. Again, you can see the full list down on Amazon of what it all comes in and the different types they have. But I'm gonna get my laptop over here and let's pull up the software and the tutorial and see what's something simple that I can do. Sadly, I won't be able to screen share from my laptop. There's some type of bug with NVIDIA drivers and OBS and it's not allowing me to do the video uh, capturing. But at least just say what I did. I'm not gonna like, guide you guys through how to do this because I am not the one to do Arduino guides. Let's just go right there. You, this kit comes with the guides to follow or ask somebody who knows what they're doing because anybody that knows me knows I don't know a lot about this. So yeah, I'm gonna get my laptop fiddle with this for a little bit and I'll come back and talk to you guys about it. All right, so I've been going at this for about an hour and I've made it through the first, what was 15 um, lessons. So to kind of explain what this kit does, Basically, it takes one component and they have sample sketches for each one of these components and a sample way to use it. So one of the early ones was getting an RGB LED. So getting one of these and then a plug in and then having it run a script to go through all the different colors. And it shows you how to connect the uh, blue, green, cathode and red uh, lanes, lines, leads, leads, that's it how to connect those leads to the breadboard, the breadboard to the Arduino, and have it run that script and what that script would look like. It doesn't actually have you write any of the scripts, like you can change some of the variables to increase speed, lower speed. Again, I've only got through the beginning parts of this because there are well over 30 lessons. Uh, I was just scrolling down to the bottom and I think the last one I looked at was 31. So there was a lot of lessons to do in there. And I have only done about 15. And those are kind of the very simple ones. You know, another one was to get a couple of these push buttons here and put two of them together. And one turns on the LED, one turns off the LED. So very, very simple things. So that it goes through, again, as I scrolled down, going through each one of these lessons goes you through one component in the kit. But then towards the end, it really starts to combine a lot of components, which was kind of obvious because you obviously need to have this um, stepper motor driver board in order to drive their little mm, stepper motor in here. So this stepper motor has to plug into this, and then you connect this to the breadboard, to the Arduino in order to drive it. So that's kind of, that's one of the things that is most appealing to me because I'm gonna be using one of these stepper drivers and these stepper motors, these little, little five volt stepper motor, nothing, anything special here, just a little stepper motor. And I'm gonna be making a watch winder. It's kind of one of the projects I found on Thingiverse that looked really, really cool to do. And I finally got all the parts in, but I have no idea how to, how to program any of it. So I can use the example sketch that they create for you 
to kind of figure out what I want it to do. And I added a power switch and things like that instead of just having it run straight off the uh, Arduino. And I'll be using Arduino Nano, but the sketch is the same, just the pinout is a little bit different from what I gather. Don't quote me on that one. It might be different than I think, but I think that's how it's gonna be. So another project I'm kind of looking at is using these LED readouts. I think these are seven LED numbers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight if you include the dot, I guess. Um, and to use a whole bunch of these to make a clock that looks like it's from Back to the Future. Again, something I found on Thingiverse, a super duper cool looking project, but quite a bit goes into it. It's not, it's not a really expensive project, it's pretty cheap, but it was just the coding behind it. I don't know how to actually interact with these. And the guy gives you some of the sketches, but I kind of want to learn a little bit than rather just take what they send me, slap it on, and yay, magically it works. I'd like to know a little bit behind it and getting this kit will kind of show me, you know, what I'm actually doing. You know, it, it's easy to get someone's firmware from a 3D printer, throw it on your firmware and start printing with it. But it's another to actually understand what the firmware actually does or what changes they have made to make it work. The 3D printers are a little more generic because we're using the same Marlin firmware, but this, you can do all kinds of programming to get all kinds of different results and to whatever you want. I mean, there again, there is just so much here I'm just scratching the surface. Doing the relay was kind of cool, as I've always seen people like Ivan use relays, but I've never actually used one myself. I'm not an RC person either. Um, so that's just something. And then, you know, I have other, there's the, the sound meter. Um, this is kind of like a distance, uh, I forget what it's called. Um, but basically this can measure the distance. It wasn't terribly accurate, I don't know. It was, it was a little weird. Um, but like I had it really close to something and it would said it was three centimeters. I'm like, mm, three millimeters maybe? Maybe the I have to change the scaling in it. I don't know, it just, some of the sketches are really basic and they, they do explain a little bit about it, but not in great detail. But I guess it's kind of what you're just getting. You're just getting a bunch of these parts to play with and do projects. I'm sure there's someone out there that has more advanced projects that you could do using these kits. But again, towards the end, they had quite a few components. You were using the fan, you're using the tablet, you're using the five volt DC motor and the stepper driver and a temperature sensor to do a couple different things. Uh, then you were, they also have, I, I forgot they even had these in here, but there is a, a little LCD screen in here, which is just a smaller version of what's in your 3D printer. So you can kind of figure out how to do custom controls and commands on this. Maybe you could have another one of these hooked up to 3D printer even. Uh, the one I really did actually find rather amusing and I think might be fun is this um, RFID setup here. So there's an RFID um, board and a in a chip. Well, I was kind of thinking like, what if you would use this to like kill power in your shop? Like how cool would that be? Or to lighting or a lock? Like, yeah, it might be fun just to put a little lock on something, use your, your uh, little dongle here, your RFID keychain, put it to this on the outside and then it unlocks a little latch on the inside. Like that might be kind of cool. That's something I could use the servo for. You know, as it would just be something small, it wouldn't be anything dramatic, but it was just, I don't know, something fun. And again, maybe to turn power on to stuff. That it would run to a relay that, because relay would step up the power to be able to take in the 120 volts, but it only runs off of five volts. So there's a lot of learning that I want to do. And I think this will give me the chance to tinker. And I, there's no other thing I can do is again, because I am not a power user of Arduino in any way, shape or form. I know how to grab a firmware, make some changes, throw it on a printer and go with it. I mean, I've compiled, you know, a basic Marlin and adjusted it to my printer and I've got it working. I, I made the Marlin for my Hypercube uh, and I made it for the AnyCubic Castle. So getting in there, I'm, I'm a little get a little sidetracked from what this particular product is, but again, I think this is a good way to learn each of these individual components. And it's actually a rather cheap way to learn it too, because they're like bulk buying stuff and getting you a little bit of everything. But a lot of the times I noticed on uh, like AliExpress, like just one of I don't know, any one of these products is several dollars, where it might only be like pennies to get it in this kit. 
just due to the you know pricing. So yeah, you definitely could buy this entire bit yourself. You could pay a lot of money, you know, to some companies to buy a full kit. But I don't know. I think this would be fun. I don't really can't give a yeah. You should buy this or no, just because I just got it. But I do think it is kind of worth it just to have something to tinker with around the house if this is something that you want to learn how to do and do projects with because again you watch a lot of people do videos online uh, Bob from I like to make stuff did uh, he used uh, an Arduino and he used some servos for his vacuum system in his shop so that he can just type in a code using something like this pad actually I think he did use this pad exactly just pasted it to it and if you just pressed a different number a different one of his vents would open up. You know, that was one of his, I think he's changed it since then, but he used this exact same thing. So now I, what I could do is I could watch his video, grab his sketch, make it myself here and see what could I do with that? Could I make that work for me? So I think this is a cool thing and I want to thank Ellie Goo for sending this out to me to, to play with basically. I mean, it was just a, hey, let us know what you think about this and uh, start playing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to try to set a goal to play with this kit, if not once a week, twice a week. Honestly, I, I really want to open this up, do a couple sketches, spend like an hour a week just to help train myself. Also, kind of just expand my horizons a little bit. You know, not everything is 3D printing. This ties a lot into just being a maker and going through with things. So, uh, this has dragged on far long enough. So, that's going to be it. If you guys are interested in one of these Ellie Goo kits, head down to the video description. There'll be an Amazon affiliate link down there if you buy it. A little slice comes back here to help me, and I appreciate that. And uh, there also will be a coupon code. So look down below. They said they would give me one once I'm going to publish the video. Uh, they haven't told me the amount yet. I think it was going to be like 15% roughly. So either way, uh, check down there as well. There'll be a discount code that you can use on Amazon with the affiliate link and save even more money. So yay for you guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and again, a little different, but you know, this kind of whole, the maker aspect of being a maker is learning. And this is what I'm going to do to learn. So give the video a thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it. Talk to me in the comments down below either way. If you guys stay tuned what's going on, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon. You get an email notification when I upload new content. Ways to support me financially, you can become a patron. You can access my after show and the Patreon feed. And I have some little bonus things coming out soon. So be sure to check out that. Other ways, again, the fill links down below, the discount codes for this and a lot of other things are all down in the description, so check those out. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, happy printing.